There's more plastic in our planet's water systems than there are stars in the galaxy. That's about 5.1 trillion particles. Every year, the number increases by around 8 million. Even now, while you're watching this video, at least one truckload of plastic waste is thrown into the ocean. Some people struggle to take action. Boyan Slot from the Ocean Cleanup Company invented System 001. This is a 62-mile-long barrier that catches plastic waste like a trap. However, it broke down almost as soon as it started working. In this video, you'll find out why is it so hard to be an eco-activist? Are there any efficient waste processing technologies? And do we need a world without plastic? Do we need a world without industries? Plastic is made from crude oil and natural gas, and plastic-producing companies generate large quantities of waste and chemicals. We swallow them together with the water we drink from the bottles and food that was wrapped in polyethylene. And that's like 30 to 52,000 microplastic particles per year. At the same time, we inhale more than 74,000 particles. Microplastic can cause blood clots in a human organism and lung deformation. In China, a global production center, there are entire settlements called cancer villages because of lung diseases commonly spread in the area. There are around 459 settlements located close to 4,000 enterprises. The rate of deaths from lung cancer is extremely high there. Over the last 35 years, it rose by 465 percent. That could be avoided if people weren't producing plastic goods. And photos of plastic whales washed ashore wouldn't go viral, as was the case in 2018 in Indonesia. A more than 9-meter-long body of the mammal was full of a wide assortment of waste – bottles, cups, bags, and slippers. Also, seabirds wouldn't have to feed fish stuffed with polymers to their nestlings. According to the United Nations, plastic consumption annually kills around 100 million birds and 100,000 marine animals. However, if not for plastic, other species would go extinct, namely elephants. That's because before the 1950s, the majority of household goods were made from scarce and expensive ivory. The population of these animals got endangered, so humans found a way to avoid their complete extinction, namely producing synthetic materials. Plastic saved humanity from the dynamic spreading of diseases like AIDS as reusable syringes came to replace single-use ones, which reduced the risk of contracting the virus. But now, another contagious thing has threatened the world once again. Eco-activism became a viral trend. However, its effectiveness is questionable, and some activists are often accused of being hypocritical. Indeed, Boyan Slat received no less than $30 million of investment to develop his magic waste trap. But the pipe moved much slower than the plastic debris, and its piping systems were faulty. So the pipe broke down and dumped everything it managed to catch back into the sea. People accused Boyan and his company of using ecological issues to build hype around themselves. At the same time, nobody dares to question Mr. Beast. The famous YouTube blogger initiated a project called Team Seas. Its main goal is to raise $30 million to remove 30 million pounds of plastic and other kinds of waste from oceans, rivers, and beaches. The blogger brought other content makers and millions of authors worldwide to help promote Team Seas. As of November 2021, they raised more than $16 million, which equals 16 million pounds of removed waste. Mr. Beast is also a founder of Burger Beast, a delivery-only fast food restaurant chain, hundreds of outlets across America. And that means tons of plastic stickers, straws, bottles, cutlery, aluminum foil, and other waste. Isn't there an inconsistency in his actions? 
Leonardo DiCaprio seems to be the one who really knows what he's doing. His foundation supports dozens of innovative planet-saving projects. Moreover, DiCaprio is a UN Goodwill Ambassador, and wait a second, Leo, what's that in your hand? Is it a plastic cup with a straw? And what's that? Is it a plastic bag? It looks like environmental activists find it hard to be consistent. Our best hope is eco-technologies. Perhaps the trash wheel created by Clearwater Mills will manage to collect 38,000 pounds of garbage per day and convert it into electricity. After all, the wheel has already prevented around 1.5 million pounds of waste from flowing into the ocean. Or better yet, magnetic coils can destroy microplastic with a chemical reaction. When their nitrogen and manganese-based coating reacts with oxygen, particles are transformed into organic saline compounds, carbon dioxide, and water. But just collecting plastic waste is not enough. We'll have to stop producing and using the material just as abruptly as to say goodbye to the civilized world. So what would the world be like without plastic? The ozone layer will recover within 30 years after plastic disappears and glaciers will stop melting at a breakneck pace. However, all of that will be possible only because there will be no planes anymore, as most of their airframes are made of high-performance plastic. It lets them be less heavy and fly several thousand kilometers above the ground. The level of oncological diseases will likely decline significantly, but we'll face the return of epidemics, and even minor injuries will be dangerous because plastics are almost irreplaceable in medicine. They're the only suitable materials for devices like magnetic resonance imaging scanners and X-ray equipment. Plastics are also used to produce medical tools for internal use or those related to a human body, such as cardiac pacemakers or artificial limbs, as well as basic but necessary equipment like tubes, drips, blood bags, gloves, masks, and much more. According to some estimates, during the pandemic in the U.S., the demand for face masks increased by 312%, and it actually helped stabilize the situation with COVID-19. Alternative materials such as bioplastic made from olive pits can't be a source for the production of medical equipment. Imagine a cardiac pacemaker that decomposes within a year. But most importantly, our internet connection will become extremely unstable without kilometers of fiber optic cables. And this will bring havoc to the world of digital services. Well, the havoc will happen anyway if we won't change anything. What will happen if we keep throwing tons of plastic away? According to the World Bank, the amount of municipal solid waste on the planet is expected to double in the next 15 years. It'll mostly be disposable plastic items. By 2050, 99% of seabirds will feed on plastic. The Ellen MacArthur Foundation determined that if plastic pollution continues at its current rate, by mid-century, oceans will be filled with at least 937 million tons of plastic and only 895 million tons of fish. Everything we eat will contain polymers, except for beef. It turns out that in the digestive acids of cows, there are bacteria that can break down microplastic. That's why, unlike fish, cow meat will stay safe. So we may start feeding exclusively on beef burgers in the future. Maybe even Mr. Beast burgers. Will you be okay with that? <laughs>